Um, hi, this is Kevin Liu and this is Lee Shanko. So we're two students from University of Madison, Wisconsin, and then we've worked on a project for our CS740 project um, that basically uses HomeOS to implement a content-based access control system. And we wanted to give a demo of our project today. So on the left-hand side, you can kind of see a tree-like structure on how we organize and store um, audio data in our network. Um, so yeah, we, we're focusing on audio only. So we have our audio media types mapping to a virtual drive, in this case, the F drive. And then as you can see, we have a tree here that is contains groups um, as intermediate nodes and then individual users are stored at the leaves here. Um, so one unique feature to point out from our tree is that for any individual user, for example, the husband here, um, he can access files in his own folder and any files in the parental folders, but not sibling folders. Um, this is important because it gives us a notion of privacy so whereas um, if you put things in your own folder, other people will not be able to access it. Um, so without further ado, let's, um, let's kind of show um, some of the scenario that our system is capable of. So I'm going to talk about a first scenario here where we demonstrate the different views and access level to our system data. So first I'm going to log in as admin and I'm going to have admin list all the audio files that it's aware of. And as you can see, it's, it's aware of all the files in the system from residence audio all the way down to the individual um, audio files of the users. So I'm going to log out as admin and I'm logged back in as adult one here. Yeah, we're, we're not encrypting our password, but, but okay. So adult one will list audio. And as you can see, um, adult one has access to the adult one audio, the adult audio, and the two residents audio. And if I log out and log back in as kid one, you can verify that the kid one's view of the data is different than, uh, than the adult one's view. So kid one can see kid one audio, kids audio, and the two residents audio. So that just shows types of access control we have. Uh, so I'm going to log out and have Eric talk about the second and third scenarios. Hey, so I'm going to talk about the second scenario, which is um, we try to create a file and put it in the adult folder. So first, I'll log in with the adult two and see the view of the adult two. So that would be adult two audio, adult audio, and residence audio files. And let me log in with the adult one now. And we try to create a new file, which is called a new adult audio. And see the new adult audio successfully added. So we could list, try list audio again. And there's a new file, which is called new adult audio. And we could also check the echo list for the new file. Um, basically, it's only, by default, it's only the adult one who create the files had the access. And, right, and now we want to modify it. Modify the file new adult audio to adults adult folder so you can see this successfully modified and they try to check again adult audio and now you can see that there's adult one and adult two are both in the echo list for this file we could go to the login with the dot two again and try list. And you can see that the new adult audio is also 
has it uh, get access by the adult too. And right now we are trying to log in with one of the kit and do the listing. And the kit has no access to that particular file. So that's the.